Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Hi, hello, my name is Unique and you should subscribe. So today I am going to be showing you guys how I specifically do my own cut crease. So yeah, it's a glitter liner cut crease and it's so super simple to do. I can do it and I suck at everything. So yeah. So you can definitely do it and if you want to see how I achieved this look then just keep on watching okay guys so guys today was the first day of school for where I live in Florida and it was my little brother's first day of middle school and I'm so sad like I remember my first day of middle school I cried so today like I said in my intro you are going to be learning how to do a cut crease now I just learned how to do one so it's not really me teaching you it's you me showing you how I do mine because you, everybody does them differently everybody some does them better some does them like you know people do some crazy things with eyeshadow and it's amazing so yeah but this is how I do mine it's super actually really simple and I really thought it was hard but it's pretty easy I mean I do need to learn just a tad bit more but um the other day I accidentally did this look so I'm gonna show you what I accidentally did but this time do it on purpose and watch me like mess up which I mean I wouldn't be surprised anyways so yeah obviously we're gonna start off with the eyes first up close and personal okay so I'm going to take my Tartlet palette, which when am I not, and then I'm going to go in with Sweetheart, this color right here, and put it in my crease, and like try not to make it too high up, so like this, just so you know, blend her up in there, in the creasy crease. I go in like a few times with my transition shade, so I mean I guess it all depends on how you want yours to look. Oh, and I had already primed my lids and everything like that, so don't think I didn't. That's why they're so white. <laughs> After you have your transition shade, you're gonna go in with a darker color, so I'm just going to go like right into Rebel. We're just going to be using these three colors to be honest with you. These three bottom colors right here. If you can see that. And I'm going to go into Rebel with just the same brush. I just cleaned my brushes like the other day. And like they're already super, super dirty. So annoying. <laughs> but yeah. I just didn't feel like cleaning them yet. But I'm using like, I use like the same colors. So yeah. Because I was doing this look. Anyways. So we're just going to go like right over top that. Like maybe just like a tad bit lower. And then go in there just with a little darker and I'm kind of trying to swing it out but I forgot to in the beginning but that's okay you can do it anyway you want some people don't like swing it out and some people do I mean it'll be easier to cut your crease but I mean you can still do it like that if you wanted to or not so yeah so I'm just gonna go like that and just keep blending As you can see, it's getting a little bit darker. And then we're going to go with the last color with the same brush. Again, it doesn't matter. Um, for me, at least. You can use a different brush if you want to. But, yeah. So, I'm going to go in with Leader. The darkest color right here. And on a tiny, tiny bit. I'm not going to put much of this color. But it's going to deepen the look up. And then I'm going to just pop it just like in there. You see that? Okay. Just like that. Okay, so now that you have that done, you can see that it's going to be just like super. My nails came off, guys. Ignore that. Like these ones are still on, except for this one. But anyways, so as you can still see, 
that you can easily cut your crease like that. And so what I do is I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then I'm just going to take my normal concealer brush that I usually use to carve out my eyebrows. Where is it? Okay. Um, it's the Sonia. I don't know how to pronounce her last name actually, but it looks like that. Anyways, so yeah, I take the Tarte Shape Tape and what I do is I take this and I put like a small, tiny amount and that might actually be too much to be honest with you but that's okay just spilt that like that and then this is how you're gonna cut to your crease so usually I don't start from the very inner corner I do that like after but so I do can you see like that Alright, and that is how I cut my crease. Now, I usually just let that part dry first, and then I put the, um, like, this color eyeshadow down on top of it to set it or whatever. Just, I don't know, I feel like when I do it first, it just doesn't work out that well. So I just kind of wait until it dries, just a little bit. And then, so I'm going to cut my other lid, and then I'll come back to the next step. Alright, so, as you can see, I have cut my crease, and I put eyeshadow on it's gonna like do better now the last time I do not do this step so this means you need about to screw up but I do not do wing eyeliner but this time I'm gonna do wing eyeliner and then we're gonna go in with the glitter um so yeah so it's just I'm just gonna make a simple wing but I'm just letting y'all know that I'm doing the wing <laughs> all right so um, there we go there's the wing eyeliner set and ready to go um all right so this next step let's do this this is what we were made for not really all right so i'm going to be taking this stila what is this the i don't know the newest glitter thing that they came out with it looks like that um it's not very you can use any glitter i'm just using this one this is the one that i have um i would recommend using a cheaper one because this is 24 dollars. but i mean if you want it then why not i bought it so why don't you want to? Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I take like an old, what is this called? Eyeliner tip thing, and I take it on here. Like that. I don't know if you see that, that's on there, but it's on there. She's there. Then I am literally going to align the top of where I cut my crease at. So like this. It's nerve wracking, it is. Can you see? Like that. Okay, I'm gonna fix it up just a tad bit because I didn't notice where I messed up and where I didn't. That kind of hurt my eyelid for some reason. I don't know why it didn't hurt the first time. Okay, so I have both eyes done. This one is dry. This one is not dry. But yeah, so that is what it looks like. What is this? What? No, okay. Anyway, so yeah, that is what it is looking like as of now. And so I'm going to go in with lashes. And obviously, 
I just pop them on real fast and then we'll do the face which isn't gonna be into depth so basically what this video was about was just this um, so if you want me to pop on my lashes and see how it looks with lashes then that's fine you can click out or whatever but I am gonna do my face on camera just because um, this video is already 25 minutes long so it took 25 minutes just to do my eyeshadow just to do this because I did my eyebrows off camera before I even started it took 25 minutes yeah. okay and that is what it looks like with a lashes on so yeah I'm really actually super proud of myself so a hospital bill. I don't want that. I'm gonna go in my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I actually ran out of my e.l.f. primer and I didn't even notice because I haven't been using it so I don't know. I mean when at peop other people, when I do other people's makeup, I use that one but I can only think of two people I've done their makeup so I understand where like it went. You feel me? That's, that's I don't remember doing anybody else's makeup. I can only think of two people. I didn't put enough, I don't think. But um, I'm running out of this one too, so I need to get. I thought I had my benefit one. Maybe I need to check. But the Smashbox one is okay. It's not my favorite. I buy the e.l.f. one over that one. But I like trying different primers. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't ever buy it again, maybe, but I don't see it. I think it's just hyped up too much. Or maybe it's just my skin. People, different things work on different people, so. Yeah. Alright, so again, I'm going to mix my Fit Me concealer. Fit Me um, foundation in the color Toffee with the L'Oreal True Mask in Honey Beige mix these bad boys together and I've been putting this one more because sometimes my face looks too light when I put too much of this one so I just put a little bit of this one I put more of this one blend it out like a normal I really I look like I have a disease or something it looks disgusting okay um all right so that part is done I think I did okay with the color I think I still put it a little bit too late, but oh, it's not as bad as sometimes that it is. Alright, so I'm going to go in with this bronzer, which I actually hit pan on, and I didn't even realize I hit pan on it. But I did. It's by, I think, Makeup Revolution. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just a normal bronzer, and you just a bronze your face. Alright, so, yeah, that's it. Alright, so now we are going to move on to the bottom lash line. So I'm going to take my it Cosmetics brush, number 221. It's like a smudger brush. I barely use this brush. I forgot I had it, and it's so expensive, so might as well just use it. Alright, so I'm going to mix Sweetheart and Rebel and smoke it out on my lower lash line. I was about to put this in my mouth for some reason. I don't even know why. And then I'm just going to go in with the telescopic mascara by L'Oreal and put it on my bottom lashes. Okay, guys. So, that this is the finished look. And, yes. Um, like I said, it's pretty easy and simple to achieve. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I did this by accident, just like I told you. It was by accident. I had messed up cutting my crease. So, it was like... I don't have time to wipe off and redo it so I just put the glitter liner I don't know why that popped in my head and I never tried that before I never did that um, and so it was kind of an accident and I liked how it went and I do know people do that all the time so yes I really really hope you guys enjoyed my video and if you did enjoy my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay bye
<laughs> so yes um yeah so i'll see you in my next video bye